Through the day, we did see temperatures back in the 80s. At least our humidity is still not too bad. That's going to be changing as we look ahead to this week. Our temperatures will be on the warm side. Humidity is going to start to creep back into the mix, and so are thunderstorms. All things we expect as we roll on into those first days of May. 85 for the high, 79's average, and the record high today, 97. Take a look right now. It is gorgeous out there, even though it is, yes, a little bit on the warm side. Blue sky is back with temperatures still. Holding in the mid 80s across the Metroplex. We've got 84 DFW as well as Dallas, 85 for Fort Worth. Winds are starting to pick up. A little bit more of a breeze this afternoon out of the south, 15 or so miles per hour. And that wind is also going to pick up the next couple of days, ushering air in more moisture. Now, as we take a look right now, 81 for Paris, McKinney 82, uh, Denton at 83, Cleburne 81. And Corsicana 82, really not even much cloud cover to show you on our map. A large area of high pressure keeps things nice and quiet for us overnight tonight. The south breeze sticks around. Still some really mild numbers, as we will see temperatures anywhere from the upper 50s to the lower 60s, more so across Dallas Fort Worth. A couple of dry days, it looks like. As we move on into the start of the week, at least for Monday, uh, we will still have some sunshine, but you will notice more clouds building back into the mix. As we move on into the afternoon. Now, I mentioned that south wind. It's going to start to turn a bit more breezy tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday. Winds are picking up 15 to 25 miles per hour. Gulf moisture is starting to build back into the mix. And then we will be talking about storm chances with those ingredients coming into play as we move on into the middle of the week. So the setup looks similar to what we were talking about yesterday. Dry line is really going to work its way in out to the west where it hangs out for several days. Low rain chances for some isolated storms, especially west, closer to this dry line, both Tuesday and Wednesday. But again, that's more isolated. What we're watching for more widespread action will be on Thursday. Cold front will finally be working its way in. And we do see the threat for more of a widespread storm event on Thursday. Now, we'll need to watch specifics. It's still a little too soon to say what the main threats would be. I think all of our threats, though, would be possible at this point. And you can see those rain chances going up on Thursday to a 50% chance of showers and storms. That storm threat is going to stretch all the way from Dallas-Fort Worth and up into the plains where it's the highest really from Oklahoma and up into Kansas there as we make our way into the middle of the week. So enjoy the dry weather while we've got it and the quiet weather, which tonight will be 62 degrees for your overnight low. Tomorrow looks just great. 81, bit more cloud covered. Nothing to complain about though. And the week ahead, stretch of 80s are back. Cold front finally tries to work its way out into the weekend where temperatures are in the 70s.